why can't I be happy all the time? Why can't I just be happy 100% of the time? Well, we're gonna talk about that today. We're gonna talk about why we can't be happy all the time. But we're also gonna talk about how we can be happy the majority of the time. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Johnny Pardo, a self-esteem and confidence author, coach, YouTuber, and podcaster, helping you to reduce insecurities, increase your self-esteem, and increase your confidence. So recently, and people haven't always necessarily noticed, and it's quite difficult sometimes for us to actually pick up when people are feeling down. And that's why it's really, really important to encourage people, but as individuals, for us to share when we're not happy. Now, sorry, going back to me, I've not been feeling 100% recently. I've been a bit down, and that's from a couple of difficulties from moving flat or apartment if you're American, um, <laughs> as um, I keep needing to be reminded of that it's people outside the UK don't know what a flat is, it's an apartment, or moving home. Uh, there's been a few setbacks, nothing major. But in the dating world and business world, there's a couple of setbacks I've had recently and it's really knocked me back and I've not felt so good. But from conversations I've had with people, I've opened up a lot more because I've realised as I've grown up, it's really important to share. Uh, but from conversations, I've realised that um, a point was reminded to me the other day that it's okay not to be happy all the time. And I was like, yeah, okay. And actually accepting that I was feeling down, feeling a bit stressed or not 100%, I started to appreciate that and started to journal through and talk through with myself a little bit more about how I was feeling and why. But I also started applying self-care and self-love. Well, I'm not started applying, continuing to apply because I always do it to allow myself to sort of feel good. And it got me thinking because I started looking online a little bit. Now, if you're feeling down, don't look online too much because you can actually you can start comparing, you start feeling all this negative because everyone else is happy whilst you're down, etc., etc. Now, I moved away from that a little bit, uh, a lot, as I sort of improved my self esteem and my confidence. And I talk about this in my latest book, The Self Esteem and Confidence Mindset, that you shouldn't do that. But anyway, when I've been looking online, I've seen a lot of positive quotes and it's great to be positive you don't we want more positivity than negativity of course we do we don't want people being miserable just because we want them to be miserable that's insane we we want positivity but there's too much positive quotes our oh, life's a miracle oh, everything's amazing and oh, it's a happy day be joyful be grateful about your day it's, it's great to see that uplifting stuff but it's a bit unrealistic let's be honest Nobody can be happy 100% all the time. You can be happy the majority of the time, but it really came to me and I was like, stop being unrealistic. I've seen people smile, smile, smile constantly and I'm thinking, well, that's not real because we have our setbacks and it's really, what I really admire is when people are struggling and they share it. Now, if someone's moaning and whinging constantly, that's not good and that can drag you down and you don't want to surround yourself. But when someone's opening up and being vulnerable, that's good and showing what life really is. So what I wanted to talk about today is how you can work through more challenging emotions, but also what you can do to feel positive and happy the majority of the time. So my first tip is really kind of touching on what I've talked about already, but I want to make it clear as a tip is tell yourself it's okay. Now, I had setbacks the other day and my brain immediately came to the conclusion that you're okay, it's gonna be okay, you're amazing, you're courageous. Now, before, a couple of years ago, it would have came at me going, oh, you're useless, you're pathetic, you're embarrassing, you deserve this rubbish that's happened to you. But no, it doesn't say that anymore. And even when I say, oh, you muppet, like accidentally, now I counter it immediately and say, sorry, don't speak to yourself like that, Johnny, because I've trained myself to speak like that. But if you're not in that position yet, don't worry. It takes continual work on your habits to feel good. But if you're in a bad situation, be compassionate of yourself like you would be a friend. Talk to yourself like you would to a young child or a friend that's really upset. Just say, it's gonna be okay, we're gonna work through this. Don't expect an overnight switch to flick, but it's okay, we're gonna work through. So that's my first tip. 
be compassionate with yourself and tell yourself it's going to be okay, but you're going to have to work through it and slowly make that progress. My second tip is something I've started doing recently um, and before this setback actually I started thinking about, but it's coaching one-to-one -one with yourself. Now I'm a one-to-one -one confidence coach and mindset coach and help people and I've helped a variety of people kind of work through their struggles, but I also coach myself and I think it's really important that anyone can do this. Now this is not to replace the coaching you're doing with other coaches, you need mentors who are experienced in some areas. I've got a business mentor. I've got, I've got, and I had a confidence coach who's more experienced than me, so I can improve my ability as a confidence coach, but also increase my confidence, allowing them to ask questions. Now have those, but also coach yourself. Ask yourself questions like, "How are you feeling? What's caused this?" And then start working through questions like, "What am I going to do about this?" How can I feel good about myself? What can I do as a small action today that I'm gonna feel good about tomorrow? Just start asking yourself those questions. Maybe just start with 10 minutes. 10 minutes of one-to-one -one coaching with yourself. My third tip kind of goes on to the back of that one, but it's talking it through with someone else. So whether that's a close friend, whether that's a family member, or someone at work, or perhaps if you're really struggling, pick up the line to Samaritans. So if you're not familiar with Samaritans, you're not in the UK, Samaritans are a charity that, a mental health charity that listen to people. Just, they're just there to listen, they're not experts. They're experts, at, well, they're pretty good at listening, but they're just there to be on the phone. So even just talking it through with someone can help. So just talk it through with them, talk it through with friends or family, but don't keep it bottled up to yourself. And I started opening up about this struggle and I felt so much better. The past version of me would have kept this bottled up. I'd probably still be struggling right now from my dating struggles, from my business struggles. But as I'm opening up, I feel so much better. Now, actually, I talked it through with someone close to me and their advice I didn't completely agree with, but they were there and listening to me. And part of it I did, and then I saw someone else and agreed more with their advice. But just talking it through with people is gonna help you feel better, so make sure you do that. Tip number four is schedule in as many things that make you feel as good as possible. So for me, I love my exercise at the moment, particularly I'm on a vegan fitness challenge. Um, I love speaking, I love reading, I love writing. So I'm making sure I'm scheduling those things in my routine. I like going for a walk around the harbour, I've just recently moved. Oh, I didn't, I didn't say uh, introduce, I got so carried into the video. This is my new place. Um, in Bristol. So I've set up my new book cabinet next to my door. Uh, it might be a little bit echoey. I should have done this at the beginning of the video. But anyway, I live right by the harbour. So doing things like that, going back to the video, um, doing things like that to, that are fun and enjoyable to me really helps me come back to that more positive state and feel good about being me. The fifth one is very similar to what I just talked about, but it's doing activities that usually give you results and progress. So as well as doing things that are fun, do things that make you get results. So for me, um, and when I say results, progress in the area you want to achieve. So for me, I like reaching people, giving them value, like my YouTube, like my podcasts. So I'm still continuing to make content and podcasts. And as a result, I get a lot, of, I've had people, and thank you so much for all your support, coming back and saying, I really love your podcast, really love your YouTube. It's really helped me. And I feel so good for that, it makes me feel fulfilled. But I wouldn't be getting that feedback if I stopped doing the actions of actually making the content. So make sure you continue to do things that can give value to other people and give you results. Because when we get results, we start to feel good from that. My question to you today is, what do you typically do when you're unhappy? What activity do you do to get you back on course again? Just enter your thoughts in the comments below. Okay, so to conclude today, and thank you for watching, it's okay to not be happy 100% of the time, but it's not okay to do nothing about it. There are positivity quotes and groups and people out there, which is great, they encourage positivity and that's fantastic, we don't want the negativity, but sometimes it's a bit unrealistic. Nobody is positive 100% of the time, and it's okay not to be happy or positive 100% of the time, just be with your feelings, 
be self-aware, but do things that bring you back to feeling good and gradually build yourself up by talking to people, talk it through yourself. Just keep doing those things over and over again. If this video's been of value to you, then if you think, oh, maybe I've got a slight challenge in confidence in my mindset that I'd like more help with on a one-to-one -one basis, then I have some slots available in my coaching, in my confidence coaching. So just email me coaching at johnnypardo.com. I'll leave the details in the description. And if you want some more tips on self-esteem and confidence in general, then check out my latest book, The Self-Esteem and Confidence Mindset, which is available on both Amazon and Kindle. Of course, if you want to see more videos, which I release every Tuesday and Thursday on YouTube, I didn't last week because of my flat or apartment move, then you can subscribe to my channel or hit the bell to be notified when I release a video every single week. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video today. Remember, improve your self-esteem, improve your life. Hope you have a great day.